Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. I'm not going to try my coffee yet because I'm doing a taste test this morning. So we'll go over that in a minute. Uh, anyway, um, today is December 3rd. Uh, currently it's 51 degrees. High today 60. Chance of rain 93%. It's raining right now. Uh, humidity is 91% right now. Winds are at 3 mile per hour and air quality is 63. That's moderate. Okay. Um, today there will be a Kroger haul. And it's, uh, we've got some great digital coupon deals uh, while we were there. But it's, not a, it's not a real big haul. But it's stuff that we got you know, great deals on. And stuff that we needed just, just for... What we were doing really is um, we were having trouble trouble with the um, healthy benefits app and we couldn't see if, if they had put the points in there and um, so we went and kind of did like a test uh, grocery buy to see if uh, if it would work you know and, and we didn't want to get a ton of stuff because we would have had to pay cash for it if it didn't go through so you know that's what we were doing but we did get some some great deals though so check it out got some uh, friend mail from Rosa Rodriguez she's one of our viewers here and uh, she's been watching for a really really long I, I think since I started Rosa uh, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken I think you've been watching me since I started um, uh, and she also does a lot on uh, our Facebook group and I do have a couple Facebook groups and, and it's a uh, chef Mike's homemade cooking club and she's she's uh, posts on that a lot and I also have color me happy club I have gardening with friends but it's on like hold right now it's on pause that group is uh, hopefully next spring you know uh, it'll get more activity and stuff we'll see I don't know um, I'm so busy, it's hard for me to keep up with everything, and uh, I just can't, I can't do it all. So Joy, really, Joy helps a lot with Color Me Happy Club, and Diane Clark uh, does a lot with the uh, Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. She's always on top of things there. So if you'd like to, uh, to join, uh, just, you know, send a request for Color Me Happy Club or Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. I need to do a video. I, I used to I'd do a video every now and then uh, take a look at Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, I've just had so much going on. I You know, it's hard to fit in. I'm trying to get a Ask My Tablet in. I've got the questions, everybody. That I know a lot of y'all like watching that. Um, it, it's not that I don't want to do it. It says I've had hauls. I've had all this and other things going on you know so um i'll get to it <laughs> eventually i you know i wanted to do that kitty's corner with the guest host so just uh just a lot happening this time of year okay and here here is the uh card from rosa joy and it says may the may the joys of the season bring you hope and fill your heart with peace Michael and family wishing you all of the all of God's blessings for Christmas and may the new year be full of great things. Take care and stay well. Sincerely, Rosa. Thank you, Rosa. I'll put it up here. I got to like update my cards over here. I think I still got some Halloween ones. <laughs> uh, but I need to start new uh, with all the ones I've received recently uh, over here on my freezer. Okay. Uh Last night we finally we decided to go out, go out to eat. We didn't really spend much. We didn't want to. I thought about Arby's, but I know no. I I wanted one of those market fresh sandwiches. It's a turkey bacon something. I can't remember what all it's got on it. But I wanted one of those. But we knew it would have probably been about twenty five bucks for three of us. You know, uh, to get you know some fries or this or that curly fries or something. So we just went to Pals because Joy, she wanted one of their hot dogs. And um, I got the chipped ham 
with cheese and Logan got the big chicken with cheese. And I always, at first when I got one of those, I thought it would be a chicken breast. It's not, it's like chipped, it's like chipped turkey, deli meat. I mean, no, uh, chicken, deli meat. So uh, the first time I got it, I was like, what? Okay, and it's still good, you know, it's really good. And that's what Logan got. We got really healthier versions, Logan and I. You know, the Big Pal is good, but I guarantee you there's tons of calories and stuff in it, you know. Um, ham has a lot less fat in it, and we just had hamburger patties the other night, so Logan and I decided we didn't want a, a burger. And Joy wanted a hot dog. But here it is. I asked for extra lettuce, and they really put extra lettuce. You can't even see the ham for all the lettuce. And, and we joined, I just split a, a regular fry. I, I don't like to, I don't have to eat a, a whole big bunch of fries. You know, that sandwich is, I mean, they're, they're this big around. I don't know if you can tell how big that is by the ketchup packs. You can see how big that thing is. So, I mean, it fills you up. Logan didn't have any fries at all. And Joy and I just split one. So, I mean, it was only around 16 bucks. It was less than 16, it was 15 something. So that's not bad. That was more, you know, reasonable. So that, I don't know if we'll even go out again. You know, I mean, I can really fix stuff, pretty much anything we want. I can make a sub, you know, I can make any Philly steaks, I can make anything really that I put my mind to. I need to start doing more recipes. I need to look up some recipes or have Joy or Logan look up some that they might be interested in. Um, start doing more of them, maybe do more cooking with Chef Mike. Um, so yeah, Lo uh, she had a hot dog and Logan had the chicken. Tonight, what's for dinner? I don't know, uh, oh yeah, they're, uh, okay. Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to, oh, my back's in. I can't reach it. We're, tr <laughs> we're trying to eat less potatoes. We love potatoes any way you fix them. I think most people do, but we're trying to eat less of them. And tonight I've got that barbecue, that Lloyd's barbecue with that, what's it called? Pig beach sauce, barbecue sauce, which is excellent. We've had it before. And I've got some slaw I'm gonna make. And, but we were gonna have fries. But I realized that when we bought some, um, and we forgot we had them, we got some sweet potato fries. Now there's a healthier version of fries. And uh, I'll probably put some seasoning on them and stuff, you know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have, and they're, I think they're great value brand. We bought them a while back, but we forgot about them, like I said. so. So barbecue sandwiches, uh, slaw, and fries tonight. It'll be a pretty easy meal to fix since that's already fixed. Okay, the coffee review. We got this. If you saw the Ollie's haul, we got this there. We took a chance. I don't, you know, I don't like. I'm afraid of coffee. Sometimes you get it and it's like, oh my gosh, that tastes like dirt or something, you know, and. Uh, so these, you know, other companies that I've never tried, I'm pretty leery about. But the way coffee is, the the 48, this is a 48 ounce can of coffee, and the one at Walmart, uh, the Great Value brand is really good, but it kept going up. It was, um, I forget how much it was at first, but it was 8.98, and before it went up the first time, and then it was uh, the next time we went, it was 9.98, and I said, you know what? That's ridiculous. They keep, you know. They go up a dollar, a dollar at a time on it. And uh, so we saw this at Ollie's, and it's a 48 ounce can too, but instead of 9.98, and it's probably more than that by now at Walmart, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, but it is good though. Uh, this one is 8.49. So that's, you know, a dollar 50, so it's pretty much cheaper. Um, and it's Premier Roasters Classic Roast. Sorry about the glare. I had to. I took a picture, but I had to kind of turn it this way so that glare is over there. I think I got an app to. I mean, not an app on my editor in phone. I keep hiccuping. Sorry. The editor in phone. I think it's got a glare thing. I might try to see if I can get that thing to work. But 
This is a highly fragrant coffee with smooth and classic undertones. It's medium roast. And um, what's it say here? They, they don't have nutrition facts on coffee. Um, it says, classic roast, our most popular blend is the well-balanced classic roast. This coffee is made of high quality. Man, they got a typo on the back of their... I can't believe this. That for beans, it says B E A N D S. I've never heard of beans. Beans. Look at this. They got a typo. I can't believe that. Oh, that's got to be a typo. B E A N D S. Hot to. Coffee is made of high quality beans. You believe that? I, I bet they were like, when they saw that, uh, they're probably like, well, dang, we've made 10 million uh, of those to go on the days. <laughs> we can't throw them away. Heads are going to roll. <laughs> I'm just saying. I can't believe that. B E A N D S. Okay. From around the world. A highly fragrant coffee with smooth and classic undertones. You will enjoy this coffee any time of the day year round. Boy, the guy that did that. He probably he probably lost his job. I hate to say it. I can't believe. It. Oh, I can't believe it says that on the back. I'm sorry, it just tickles me kind of. But anyway, let's see about the if they can do better making the coffee than they can their labels. <laughs> Smells really good. I I could smell it when it was brewing. It's not bitter. Not at all bitter. It tastes like... Now I fixed mine a little bit strong. I probably... Uh, if I use four scoops between the four, there's probably actually closer to five because I do a little over the top. Um... That tastes a lot like Maxwell House to me. It does. So obviously they can make better coffee than they can labels. Uh, I just can't believe that still. I know I keep going on about it. But how do you do something like that and, and you get a typo on your on your label? That's a, that's a beauty. Okay. It's really good though. So I, I would recommend it. I, I'll give this... I can't take off for the for the label, <laughs> but really it is a five out of five. Uh, it tastes a lot like Maxwell House to me. Now everybody's tastes are different. You might think it doesn't taste like that, like Maxwell House, or you you may think different. But I, you know, I drink a lot of coffee, and uh, we've tried a lot of different brands, and this one's pretty good. It really is. So get you some if you have an Ollie's or maybe you, this Premier Roasters is elsewhere. Uh, I know they've got, I don't think it's the same one. At all at uh, Grocery Outlet, they got one that looks like this. But I think it says S&W or something at the top. And it's $6.49 and it's 30 ounces. So this is $2 more for $18, 18 more ounces. So I don't know. We may check that one out at Grocery Outlet one day just because there's more in it. Even though it's six forty nine, there's more in it than a lot of the others uh, that are six ninety nine. Okay, so that's the coffee review. I got a couple uh, tidbits here, and it says meteor lights up northeast Ohio skies. The American Meteor Society reported that on December 1, a doorbell camera filmed a meteor as it flashed in the sky over northeast Ohio. Stephen Martin captured the meteor over Wadsworth as it raced through the sky. <coughs> AMS has received almost 737 reports about the fire, a fireball over the skies across eastern states. And this here, <coughs> you know, uh, it seems like everybody I've got to I've got to be real careful about COVID, the flu, anything, even you know, colds. 
I have a, a compromised immune system because of the uh, infusions I get for my Crohn's disease. So I have, I'm not able to get the vaccine, you know, and uh, what would happen is I would get it is, is, you know, they explained it to me and, um, same with the flu one. I can't get that or, or shingles, but COVID has not really gone away. And, and if you, if you're out in the public anymore, you know, it's, it's business as usual here anyway. Uh, I'd say the percentage of people still wearing masks, the probably most of them that are have, have health issues that are still wearing masks. But um, people are basically, everything's gone back to the way it was before all this and people are not being careful. They're not even being careful about this flu that's going around. So, we wear our mask. You see me in my walkthrough. Joy wears hers. If Logan goes out anywhere, he wears his. We, we just do. We still do. We still use the sanitizer. We still use wipes for this or that, you know, different things. And, you know, just never stop being careful, okay? So that's why I'm doing this, to let y'all know that it's not really gone away, or, or this one in particular. It says, Illinois reported 57 COVID-19 deaths last week amid cold. Okay, I'm not trying to scare anybody or anything. I'm just saying, just be careful still. You're, this is the holidays. You're going to be close to people, and you're going to be in close quarters with people and stuff. I'm not trying to, like I said, scare anybody. But this is just a fact, you know. Illinois is starting to notice a steep rise in COVID-19 and other respiratory illnesses like the flu as December approaches and the weather becomes colder. Last week, COVID-19 claimed at least 57 lives across the state. Since November 25, the day after Thanksgiving, there have been 20,495 new confirmed and probable cases in the state. 63 counties are at an elevated risk. So just be careful is all I'm saying, everybody. Not, like I said, uh, you know, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I just think that you should be careful this time of year, especially, you know, and uh, we don't want anybody getting sick and we sure, certainly don't want anybody to pass away. That's for sure. Okay, let's find something nice news. Ooh, Andrew, I entered that yesterday. I got an email here from... Um, grocery outlet they're giving away a um where'd it go they're giving away a ham i don't where'd it go i got so many of them it must be down below it, they're giving away a ham and a bag of potatoes i think it is for christmas a big old ham i signed up for it and uh, signed joy up for it yesterday and here's a uh, Right now, Jeff's Famous Jerky has a sale on their bacon, everybody. Look here. $5.99, and let me tell you, that is a bargain for that. $5.99 a bag, no coupon needed. Regular price is $8.99 a bag, and that is just a great deal right now that'd be a perfect time to try this stuff in their new in their new uh sugar pig uh bacon jerky look here we're getting ready to get some things in real quick here some new things to try from jeff's and we're going to have a giveaway that i'll be going over real soon also a nice giveaway for christmas but they have got a lot going on right now. They got alligator jerky. I think we're going to have some alligator jerky to try. Okay, what did I do? I did something. Okay, I'm getting, I need to find a nice news. Check it out on JustFamousJerky.com, everybody. And you'll, you'll see. Okay, let me find. Nice news. Okay, nice news. Make it a little bigger. 
Okay, let me have more of this coffee. Rhino population surpasses 1,000 in Zimbabwe for the first time in decades. Rhinoceroses are returning to Zimbabwe. For the first time in over 30 years, the rhino population has surpassed 1,000 in their native homeland, according to animal conservationists. The black rhino species is still critically endangered, while the white species is considered near threatened. But their numbers have improved significantly, now reaching 614 and 415 respectively. That's not many though. Efforts to boost the overall population have been going on since International Rhino Foundation was founded 31 years ago to fight back against the poaching crisis, ABC News reports. Despite increasing costs for food and fuel, rhino numbers have been growing thanks to intensive protection, monitoring, and management. Classic singer Andrea Bo Bocelli teams up with his children for a new holiday album. I've, I've heard about that guy. He's been around a long time. You likely know about Andrea Bocelli, the Italian singer with that majestic, transcendent classical voice, but what about Matteo or Virginia Bocelli, the youngest two of Andrea's three children are musicians too, and they recently teamed up with their dad to record a holiday album together entitled A Family Christmas. I think it's an amazing opportunity, Andrea told CBS News, because we can spend time together. It's a privilege, I think. Both Matteo, 25, and Virginia, 10, admitted that living up to their father's legacy can sometimes be a lot of pressure. Part of this being the son of is that you cannot really make mistakes. I was quite shy when I was little, so I was singing more in front of my mom and less in front of my father, Matteo explained. And then I had, had at 18 this beautiful chance to make a duet with my father, and that's where I realized that this passion was something bigger. Virginia noted that she also gets shy singing in front of the world-class artist, teasing because, you know, like, he's pretty good. <laughs> a special musical event featuring the trio debuts tomorrow, December 4, on YouTube. Click below to get a sneak peek. Okay. Okay, we're running a little late. I'm going to go ahead and do find the quote. That's, it's from Edgar Allan Poe. They who dream by day are cognizant of many things which escape those who dream only by night. Okay. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this morning's coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Check out Kroger Hall. Great digital deals. Later on today. Bye, everyone, and God bless.